Soft tissue sarcomas, the importance of proper biopsy and surgical excision technique. Soft tissue sarcomas are cancerous tumors that can grow in any region of the body, though they are most commonly found in the limbs and abdomen. They grow from certain tissues, such as muscles and tendons, fat, lymph nodes, blood vessels, and nerves. However, sarcomas are rare, while similarly appearing benign tumors are common, which is why many sarcomas are improperly surgically removed due to the incorrect assumption that the soft tissue tumor is benign. So, it is important to have a soft tissue tumor biopsied by an orthopedic oncologist. The soft tissue sarcoma shown here is growing in the deep anterior compartment muscles of the thigh. If the tumor type is improperly diagnosed, an unplanned surgical excision or removal may be undertaken. This may result in several long-term negative consequences. First, the incision that is created using improper surgical technique often makes a large transverse skin defect. Secondly, when the soft tissue sarcoma tumor is removed, the tumor is often excised without a large enough tumor-free tissue margin, which will leave cancerous tumor cells behind in the body, leading to an increased chance of recurrence of the soft tissue sarcoma and requiring later removal of the contaminated tissue. The closure also leaves a large transverse scar on the thigh, often leading to unnecessary morbidity or disease and plastic surgery skin reconstruction. When an experienced orthopedic oncologist discovers what they believe is a soft tissue sarcoma, the surgeon will first decide which type of biopsy is best for the individual patient, an image-guided needle biopsy or an incisional surgical biopsy. Image-guided needle biopsy is a technique where the surgeon inserts a biopsy needle into the sarcoma with the aid of imaging technology, such as ultrasound, ensuring the needle is placed correctly. After, the sample is sent for pathological analysis, which will determine if it is a soft tissue sarcoma. Surgical incisional biopsy is a technique where the surgeon makes a small three to four centimeter longitudinal incision on the anterior or front of the thigh. Then, the surgeon exposes the sarcoma and removes a small sample of the tumor. The sample is sent for pathological analysis, which will determine if it is a soft tissue sarcoma. The incision is then closed, leaving a very small indication of the biopsy. Several days after the surgical incisional biopsy, a diagnosis of the tumor will be finalized. If the diagnosis is positive, preoperative radiation therapy will most likely be ordered, after which the tumor will be surgically removed with a sufficient tumor-free margin usually one to two centimeters of tissue around the tumor, so that recurrence of the soft tissue sarcoma is minimized. With the proper diagnosis and removal of a soft tissue sarcoma, the five-year survival rate is very good for patients. 83% for localized tumors without metastasis or spreading. So it is important to handle soft tissue sarcomas in a manner that will enhance the patient's long-term prognosis.